Hi guys, it's Rocco here from Rockstar Trading Group. Hopefully you're doing very well. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you my technical analysis and price prediction for Litecoin. There's also some big news to share with you, Binance DeFi staking supporting Litecoin, and also share with you other latest news for Litecoin. Finally guys, I shared with you a live trade signal in our weekly YouTube live stream. If you already haven't seen it, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification button. I do a Crypto for DGENs live stream every Sunday, share with you live trades, including the Litecoin uh, long trade setup I shared with you. I'll share a review of why I took that trade and also Litecoin it could be breaking out again so I'll be sharing with you a new trade setup at the end of the video. So guys before I get started do hit that like button and subscribe. I've not made a video in a month this is the longest I've gone without making a video. I've been, just been really enjoying making the live stream so let me know if you want me to make videos or just carry on doing the live streams. I prefer the live streams because it's a lot more interactive I can speak to you guys and it's just a lot more fun doing especially while the market is quiet so do let me know and hit that like button if you enjoy this type of content. So guys, Litecoin, like every other coin, had dumped. So the $100 level was a key level for me. Once we broke below $100, I did share with you a couple of short sets, short trade setups. And one of the reasons I, I picked Litecoin was because of Mimble Wimble. Because Mimble Wimble, I would say successful is bringing, you know, privacy features to Litecoin, but it's also a bit worrying for crypto exchanges. Some crypto exchanges delisted. And I don't think fundamentally it's a bearish news because you can, you know, pick and choose. So Binance, I believe, don't support the privacy Litecoin feature, but they support Litecoin. You could also do that. So I'm surprised lots of exchanges were delisting it. But that, you know, fuel the bearish news. And uh, in, a, in a bullish market, we want to be buying the strongest coins. In a bearish market, you want to sell coins that are weak so you know bitcoin cash was one avax was one you know there's three hours capital we're selling it you know if you've been following our channel you know lots of short trade setups that we took and litecoin was when we broke down below and it sold off it came into here and i was hoping that we you know start trend changing we couldn't we folded, failed again and we smacked it short i did try another short setup so i took three short setups and this one didn't work it, it almost went to my target then boom it started pumping up and i got stopped out then once Litecoin broke cleanly about $50, that's when I started being bullish and I shared that long setup. One of the key reasons I took that trade was buying Litecoin below $50 has always worked if you go back. And if you believe in Litecoin long term, uh, myself, I have got some concerns on Litecoin long, long term, like five, 10 years, like what is going to be their value proposition. But I'm very confident Litecoin will give another two, three, five X pump uh, leading up to the Litecoin halving. If you have been following our channel, last Litecoin halving, we made four X and I shared all the buy setups before and after um, you can go watch that i'd recommend you actually go watch that type in litecoin halving go watch those two videos you'll see how we traded litecoin and, and we sold almost the top uh, on, on litecoin and i believe we're going to get another play i'm not sure how high it will go whether it will go to you know 200 300 uh, depending how far bitcoin pumps but i'm pretty confident we're going to get another nice little setup in litecoin but the reason for this trade is below 50 dollars has always been a good level to buy and as long as litecoin holds above 50 dollars, i'm happy to take potentially another trade so that was the idea behind it and when we start trend changing above that's when I shared that buy setup saying stop below these lows and that will be the first target. It's really important you do have a trade strategy you can learn my strategies I'll leave the links below but make sure you do have a strategy because if you hadn't sold here Litecoin just dipped in in and then you know you would have given back almost all your profits and I'm not I'm not sure if Litecoin breaks up or out or breaks down. If you always take profit that's when you can you know always buy back more and i'll share with you another buy setup like i said at the end of the video but that was the trade idea and that's where that was the profit target another key point to share with you guys is i expect litecoin to chop here with bitcoin we need bitcoin to break trend change break out above here that's when we can start being very bullish on litecoin again so for me i'm expecting uh, litecoin to chop if litecoin breaks out above here i'll look for a trade if litecoin starts breaking below 50 dollars, i will be concerned on the short time frame for litecoin for me long term i would look to buy litecoin Litecoin here. If you believe, even if you don't believe in Litecoin, I think if you buy Litecoin here around, you know, to, I'm not saying it will go there, 30 to 20 dollar range. I shared this buy set of few times. They, you know, a couple of them have been life changing buying here twice, and it's just been absolutely crazy. I started buying Litecoin around here, and you know, I carried on that dip, and it works. If you believe in Litecoin long term, that is an amazing buy level. Let's talk about some news. I'll share with you my trade setup after that. The big news that I could find is Binance DeFi staking adds support for Litecoin and XRP with up to 1.4 reward rates. So this is quite bullish for me. Uh, one of the things I'm very bullish on staking is we want to uh, buy, um, it, it, let's say st if staking reduces supply. So by reducing supply, if the demand goes up or goes sideways, the price can pump a lot more. So if you guys remember Cardano staking video, VeChain staking video, that's why staking is bullish because if you take your Litecoin out, you stake here, you're not going to, you know, likely to sell and this reduces supply, helps with the price 
price going up. Another thing to talk about staking is guys, staking you want to be staking when the prices are down because if the price goes up you're making money from the price going up and you're also getting the staking rewards so it's best le best time to stake is you know when the price is down so when i made that cardano video theta video i mean someone in my group they changed their life by theta they retired gone off to thailand and i'm not saying litecoin will do that but I'm, the point i'm trying to make is you want to start staking at these low prices not when it's already pumped up really high so if you believe in litecoin now might be a good time to buy uh, and stake litecoin and uh, i've shared with you the key price levels to look at for you to stake it so that's two key points on staking and why i think staking is bullish and as you guys know binance is the biggest crypto exchange and just having access for people to stake it so simply on litecoin um it's going to be very bullish for litecoin also guys do do let me know if you want me to make a video on how to stake Binance on like for Litecoin, I can make a video for you. That's the big news I could find. Apart from that, there's some meme that, you know, Shiba was joking that, you know, Litecoin should be the third option and Litecoin retweeted, you're right, we should be number one. So, but apart from that, there's not too much news I could find on. There are a couple of, you know, um, uh, companies you know trying to adopt litecoin and litecoin pay which is okay news but again fundamentally these are quite small news for long term we need to see a lot more and if you look at a litecoin market cap if you think about what litecoin was trying to do these adoptions are very small scale so uh, i'm not covering it here we really need to see litecoin think about what the value proposition is what what is litecoin going to be back then you know litecoin was silver to bitcoin gold and light pay and i believed into that um i, I was gonna say drama it was it ended up being a drama because light pay wasn't very successful that's when i sort of stopped working or so, stopped supporting Litecoin. i, I was uh, i was helping litecoin foundation back in the day and um, yeah we need to really understand what litecoin vision is going to be so do let me know in the comment section below what you think but in the immediate short term or even in the immediate long term i am bullish on litecoin i've put my neck on the line and i said i expect litecoin to have another big litecoin halving pump after that we'll have to see what happens we need to see litecoin coming up with some sort of vision and um, the value propositions for it to succeed in the long term there's lots of other cryptos coming up with you know amazing value propositions and with DeFi, nfts litecoin really need to you know find their own space mm -hmm. in in this world so that's my thoughts on um, litecoin from a news point of view and fundamentally let's share with you the short time from trade setup and we'll end the video so short time from trade setup is this level that i've got here i've got it at 64 we can see that litecoin have come in here and can you see the target it hit target but we couldn't even get a close above that's why i shared that target with you guys again go watch the uh, live stream i can I'll, I'll be sharing with you lots more trade setups and even some live trading tomorrow so make sure you you know click here and click the notify me button so you get notified when i'm going live what I'm going to look for is a four hour close above. If Litecoin can get a four hour close above, you could just buy then. For me, as a Rockstar trader, a Rockstar trader is what I try and teach is breakout, pull back and hold. That is the trade strategy setup we look for with stop below. Same as this, you know, we look for stop below. But if you, in, if you are a bit aggressive, you like Litecoin, you could just buy the breakout. I would have wide stop loss below this red zone. But if it just spikes up and breaks down like this, you can uh, exit half and reevaluate for it to get back above. But the high probability trade setup that I teach, please make sure you have a trade setup that you could that you believe in that you've practiced but this is a trade setup if you want if you are interested in my trade setup i'll leave the links below i do group live streams telegram setup sharing with you live exactly how my trade how to apply my trade strategy so i'll leave the links below if you're interested but what we are going to look for is a four hour close above and then short short time frame pull back and hold and then i'd expect litecoin to move up i've got some beautiful targets for litecoin my first target would be 72 to 74 and then 80 dollars. same as this trade these will be my two targets long term i do think if we break out above here and bitcoin holds above 21 22k i'd expect you know litecoin to pump so if let's say bitcoin comes into 25k i'd expect litecoin to do even better and come into even around 90 and 100 dollars so we'll see if bitcoin is bullish if bitcoin is bullish i can expect litecoin to go into potentially hundred dollars in the next couple of weeks to months so uh, let's see if, if litecoin can break above here and bitcoin can hold above you know the key levels that i've shared with you also litecoin btc looks good so litecoin btc is in an uptrend and if litecoin btc high time frame can do this that's when will the litecoin halving pump will happen for now we're looking for short time frame trades if litecoin comes into hundred dollars we'll probably come into here and potentially reject it first time i'm pretty confident that it will reject and we'll probably move lower but long term if we can 
can start doing this and do that breakout back above here in an uptrend that's when we get the litecoin halving pump if you go back and study the bitcoin chart so like i said type in litecoin halving and watch my litecoin halving videos we were in an uptrend against litecoin bullish above and boom and we want to see that bullish above boom um i do expect to see that in the next few months so it's usually by the rumor sell the news event and the pump will start happening beforehand so that's the video guys let me know what you guys think comment below your price prediction for litecoin and do you believe like myself the litecoin will get a litecoin halving pump let me know in the comment section below so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys on sunday 7 p.m uk time goodbye